morning, friends. I miss you guys so much. I hope everyone's doing well. I wanted to share another fire station story with you. This one is called Corduroy Goes to the Fire Station. <clears throat> Based on the character created by Don Treeman. Pictures by Lisa McHugh. Let's see what Corduroy does at the fire station today. Have you ever been to a fire station? I have too. All right, here we go. Today, Corduroy's class is visiting the fire station. The hook and ladder truck is parked outside. The ladders help the firefighters rescue people on the roofs or up in the high buildings. <coughs> Excuse me. The hooks pull down burning ceilings so the water from the hoses can reach the fire. Look at that. We're checking it all out. The pumper and rescue trucks are in the garage. The pumper truck pumps water and carries the hoses. The hoses are very heavy when they are filled with water, so the firefighters have to be very strong. Are you strong? Let me see your muscles. The rescue truck is filled with medical equipment that the firefighters might need if someone is hurt. Fireman Jack leads the class upstairs to the kitchen, bunk room, and exercise room. Mmm, today a fireman is making spaghetti. Do you like spaghetti? I wonder what a bunk room is. Let's see what's in these flaps here. They've got a to-do list. They need to clean, cook, inspect the trucks, inspect the tools. That's so they can make sure they have everything they need if they're called to a fire. What's in here? <gasps> That's their bunk, or excuse me, looks like their bunk room and their exercise room. So that's where they get to sleep. And they also get to do a little bit of exercise to keep those muscles strong. Do you guys do any exercises at home? We like to go for a lot of walks. Oh, look at that. They're coming into the kitchen. Wonder what's cooking. Oh, spaghetti. That looks delicious. <clears throat> Fireman Jack tells the class never to play with fire or matches. They're very dangerous. If their clothes ever do catch fire, he tells them, don't run. Do you know what you're supposed to do if your clothes catch on fire? You stop, drop, and roll. That will help you put out the flames. The class practices good rolling. Good job, Corduroy. Can you guys practice stop, drop, and roll with mom and dad today? Crawl under the smoke where the air is clear. So if you're ever in a burning building, you should crawl down low on the ground so you're not in all that smoke. Have a meeting place outside your home so if anything ever happens, everybody goes to the same place and you're all safe together again. Don't play with matches. Look, there's the firehouse puppy. He's called a Dalmatian. And out the window, there's a flag. And then he stop, drop, and roll. <clears throat> he shows them the special clothes firefighters wear. Everything is very heavy. It has to be to protect the firefighter from the fire, heat, and smoke. The firefighters keep their clothes downstairs near the fire truck, ready to go. Everybody in the class gets a junior fireman's hat. Look at that. So cool. Let's see what's under here. Oh, they're trying on all the clothes. See that? There's another one. Oops. Trying on the firefighter's clothes. I bet they're really heavy for them. All right. Downstairs, the firefighters are checking the trucks. They test the lights and sirens. Cover your ears, Corduroy. The class helps clean the headlights. Then the firefighters have a surprise. Oh, look. 
there's somebody up there. There's a toolbox with some tools in it because they have to have tools. What's in this one? Let's see. Oh, there's another friend. What's in this one? Oh, it's his list. You gotta make a list. All the important things you need to do in a firehouse. Corduroy's class is going to ride the fire truck in a parade. You'd make a good firefighter, Corduroy. Sorry, friends. That was my alarm. Kind of like a fire alarm. You never know when it's going to go off, do you? Do you think Corduroy might want to be a firefighter when he grows up? There's someone waving inside of there. Fire prevention. There's the puppy again. Oh, that was the end of our story. So what are some important things we heard? If you ever have your clothes on fire, you need to stop, drop, and roll. And if your house or building is ever on fire, you're in there, where's the smoke go? The smoke goes up, so we should get low on the floor and crawl. So maybe today with mom and dad, you could practice crawling through the house. And maybe you can practice stop, drop, and roll. You guys have a great day. And remember, fire safety.